Hello Egyptology lovers. So today we're going to show you that I'm going to take my papyrus here. I'm going to make a box for it so it's nice and secure and safe and I'm going to draw on it as well. We're going to use this table saw over here and we're going to chop it down and then we're going to make a few pieces so we can put the box in there. So stay tuned for the pieces and then we'll uh, staple it with this uh, pneumatic staple gun. So stay tuned for that. All right, now you can see the uh, papyrus is inside the box. Uh, we even made these little pieces that go like that. Let me see if I can back up so you can see. So we're gonna put one on opposite sides. And then after that, we're going to put a sliding lid on top. And that should be our box completion. And then we'll see if we'll paint it. Uh, but for sure, we'll do some drawing on the side to signify the box content. All right, stay tuned for the rest. All right, of it. now that you see that the box is cut to proper dimensions, now we just need the cover, the sliding cover. And what we'll do is use a very thin uh, a Luan. What we're going to do is going to do a little slit here, like a divot that's going to slide and that's going to create the sliding mechanism. We're going to put it right around here at 3 8. So uh, we're going to do that and that should do like a sliding mechanism. So you us. can see here how I've notched it in here. That's what I wanted, that 3 8 notch. And as we notch, now we will notch down there and it should all come out perfect. So what we do is now we have a system where we can slide something through and that should create the, um, the sliding mechanism. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to do that right now. So we'll have a sliding mechanism once we put this together. All right, so we're showing you here how we created this notch here inside. And this is going to be the sliding one. So you can see how it fits in there. All right, you see it fits nice and smooth. And that comes all the way across like that. And that's what we're going to use to notch. And this is going to be the closing and shutting down mechanism. Welcome back, everybody. So the pieces are all cut. And I have my pneumatic uh, battery operated uh, uh, nail gun. And I have some glue. And we're going to make these pieces connect together. And then you guys are going to see how the papyrus over there is going to fit inside. All right, everyone. So the box is complete. You can see here, this has been fashioned. And now I have a handle here. I'm still going to clean it up, but you can open it up from here like that. I'm just going to sand it out a little bit. And that opens up like this. And I can put my papyrus in there now. And I'll show you guys that in a second. Now the papyrus is inside the box. I'm going to put some silicate in there, packets to keep it dry. So avoid moisture. And now we can just slide this in like that. Like that. And there you go. The papyrus is safely inside the box now. And I'm going to get a nice little dry rag linen cloth for it. And I'm going to wrap it up to keep it nice and dry. So there it is, guys. The completion. All that's left now also is to do some hieroglyphs on the side. Uh, much like a uh, depiction of a casket or a sarcophagus of wood. So this is what we're going to do. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. So what I'm going to do now is with... Uh with the papyrus box here, which I'm going to be keeping my papyrus in, is I'm going to draw designs for it. And we're going to have the eyes put out like they do in the coffin text. And we're going to have some hieroglyphs written on this side, on the opposite side, and over here. So I'm going to sketch it out first in pencil, and we'll come back and show you what it's going to look like. So stay All tuned. right, everyone. So you can see here that I've done the rough draft of it. So the rest is I'm just going to paint in, but I'm going to draw the two eyes of the wadjet here so you guys see what it looks like. So stay tuned. So I'm just going to show that. you some of the progress here. 
Uh, you could see that the eyes of Wedget are here. Now I'm given honor to four sons of Horus, uh, which is in this container. So we have here a revered one before Imseti, the same thing, revered one before Happy, the revered one before Duamutef, uh, excuse me, yeah, Duamutef, and revered one before Kebesenuev. No, I'm sorry, Kebesenuev. All right, Egyptology lovers, so now we're finished this one side, uh, which is supposed to resemble a coffin text. So just so you see the wedged eyes that look out into the world, uh, the Book of the Dead in there, you can see the hieroglyphs. Uh, the first column is, it's all to the four sons of Horus here. So you have uh, a revered one before Mseti, the same thing, before Happy, before Kebese Nuef, and before Duamutef. And over here you have my hieroglyph. It says the Book of going forth by day an offering which the uh, an offering which is made for the king the osiris lord of jadu right this is the word jadu or abydos and this is the great god lord of abju a uh, voice offering of bread and beer oxen fowl and provisions al uh, alabaster and linen uh, this is coming with it over here and it says all things good and pure and life to the uh, scribe, my name, and true of voice or venerated. Welcome back, Damn. Egyptology lovers. So the first section here, the side of this uh, box for the uh, Book of the Dead. So uh, over here, I've replicated it to look like a coffin text. So here you have the four sons of Horus on the bottom, the two wedged eyes looking into the world, uh, the deceased inside, basically. You have the revered one before Imseti. And then the same thing, but before Happy, the same before Kebesenuef, and then before before Duamutef. These are the four sons of Horus that protect the organs. And over here you have the hieroglyph that says, uh, Book of Going Forth by Day, which is the Book of the Dead in Egyptian. Uh, an offering which the king gives to Osiris, Lord of Jadu, the great god, Lord of Abju, voice offering of bread, beer, ox, fowl, and provisions, alabaster and linen and all things good and pure and living uh to the scribe which is my name vindicated or true of voice so that is the box one side. welcome back egyptology lovers so now the box is complete i only did one side i just didn't feel like doing more but you can see the colors that i've used the green and the yellow it's supposed to be white but i didn't want to use paint so i just chose yellow instead so this is like pretty much like a, a coffin coffin text that you would see uh online but it's pretty a uh, replica so over here, what you have is the wedged eyes that look out. So the person would be deceased inside, but would be looking out into the world. Here you have uh, a, a veneration to the three, uh, four gods of Horus. So you have basically the word revered before Imseti, which is one of them. Again, revered before Happy, revered before Kebesenuef, and then revered before Duamutef. And here you have the text that defines what's in the box and the blessing offering is in who is the uh, owner. So you have here, it says the book of going forth by day, an offering which give to the king, which is the Osiris, Lord of Jadu. And then it's the great, you can see here, the great God, Lord of Abju, a voice offering of bread and beer, ox and fowl or bird and provisions, alabaster and linen. And then here it's, all things good and pure so that's good and pure and living and over here we have the scribe myself and vindicated before osiris uh, or vindicated or true of voice so that's it guys that's the uh the reading of the box for the uh papyrus i'll just bring it over a little here so i don't drop it there you go so that's what it looks like sitting like that i could have done both sides but i chose not to and you've seen from before the papyrus is sitting nicely in there and eventually when it's complete i'll wrap it in leather and then put some silica packets to keep it dry and it would sit here pretty much forever maybe one day buried and then someone can discover it or a museum will take possession of it thanks guys for watching and thanks for watching this project uh, we'll work on hopefully one day a coffin, an actual real coffin, and you guys will see me building that.